Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A, B, C, and D are real numbers, where B and D are non-zero. Then A over B plus C over D is equal to AD plus BC all over BD. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axioms 1 and 3 are just the commutative and distributive laws. Axiom 6 tells us that there exists a real number, which we call 1, that is distinct from 0 and has the property that 1 times x is equal to x for all real numbers x. And Axiom 7 tells us for all non-zero real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that has the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. Now, using Axiom 7, our definition of division is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers where b is not equal to 0. Then we define a over b to be a times the reciprocal of b. Now, at this point, we have proven how to multiply fractions. In other words, we have proven if a, b, c, and d are real numbers where b and d are non-zero, then a over b times c over d is equal to a c over b d. Now if we recall, the way we were able to make sense out of the state is as follows. Since a and b are real numbers where b is not equal to zero, then by definition of division, we can make sense out of a over b. Since c and d are real numbers such that d is not equal to zero, we can make sense out of c over d. And we can also make sense out of ac over bd, since certainly ac and bd are real numbers. But also, since b and d are non-zero, we have proven that the product of two non-zero real numbers is a non-zero real number. So b times d is a non-zero real number. So we can make sense out of ac over bd as well. So yeah, we can make sense out of this statement. Likewise, we're able to make sense out of this statement as well. Because since a and b are real numbers where b is not equal to zero, we can make sense out of a over b. Since c and d are real numbers where d is not equal to zero, we can make sense out of c over d. And also we can make sense out of this expression. Since certainly both the numerator and denominator are real numbers, but also since b and d are non-zero, their product b times d is non-zero as well. So now that we know we are able to make sense out of this statement, let's try to prove it. Now before we prove this, we're first going to prove two preliminary results. Here's the first one. Suppose x is a non-zero real number, then x over x is equal to 1. So to prove this, first, by definition of division, we have x over x is equal to x times the reciprocal of x. And by axiom 7, x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. So putting these two equalities together, since x over x equals x times the reciprocal of x, and x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1, that tells us x over x is equal to 1. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. Now here's the second preliminary result we're going to prove. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers where c is not equal to 0. Then a plus b over c is equal to a over c plus b over c. Now to prove this, we are going to be using axioms 1 and 3 and the definition of division. First of all, by definition of division, 
we have a plus b over c equals a plus b times the reciprocal of c. And then applying axiom 1, we can swap a plus b and the reciprocal of c around. And then by axiom 3, we can distribute the reciprocal of c across this parentheses. And then by axiom 1 again, we can swap the reciprocal of c and a, we can swap reciprocal of c and b. And then by definition of division, we have a times the reciprocal of c equals a over c, and b times the reciprocal of c is equal to b over c. So through this chain of equalities, we have established that a plus b over c is equal to a over c plus b over c. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this proves the second preliminary result. So now let's move on to proving the main theorem. Now to prove this, we are going to be establishing a chain of equalities showing that these two guys are equal. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be using axioms one and six star and lemmas one and two. First of all, by lemma two, we can rewrite this as AD over BD plus BC over BD. And then we're gonna apply axiom one to the first term, right? Applying axiom one, AD is equal to DA and BD is equal to DB. And then by star, we can split these two guys up as a product of fractions. So really, dA over dB is equal to d over d times a over b, and bc over bd is equal to b over b times c over d. And then, by lemma 1, d over d is equal to 1, and b over b is equal to 1. And then, by axiom 6, 1 times a over b is equal to a over b, and 1 times c over d is equal to c over d. So, through this chain of equalities, we've established that a over b plus c over d is equal to ad plus bc all over bd. So, we have shown that these two guys are equal. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's... Pretty much it for this video.